Que vuelta mi gente, what's up, my name is Jose for Sun Life. Welcome to Youngstown, Ohio. Ohio. Yes, we're gonna go into Youngstown, Ohio and explore one of America's greatest cities. Yes, Youngstown, Ohio. Let's get in there and check this out. Ohio has a few statistics that don't look very good. One of them is that it has the highest poverty rate of any city of over 65,000 people. But that's gonna change soon because their population is also declining rapidly, which means pretty soon they won't have over 65,000 people. None of that is good. None of it. So we're gonna get in here and we're gonna check out this town. Another horrible statistic they have is that they have a vacancy rate that is 20 times the national average. It means that there's a lot of houses here that don't have an owner, an occupant. <coughs> so we're gonna go around to the city. The city is 7% uh, Puerto Rican and 1% um, Mexican. And the population unfortunately isn't going anywhere. This place is just struggling. And this is what they call the Rust Belt. Jobs have left the area. And we're gonna take a look around and see what a town in Ohio looks like after going through this unfortunate process. It's also uh, seven o'clock at night, evening you could say. It's when everybody gets out of work and everything. So it's a little bit of a complicated schedule. People are out and about. So it's a little tricky to be out in a city that has uh, high crime rates and all that during this time of day. We gotta be on our toes. Gotta be on our toes. There's a Starbucks by the Highway 80, which Katie made me stop at. Mm-hmm. So here, everything looks just about normal. There's a Puerto Rican restaurant that also sells New York pizza. Being between Chicago and New York on Highway 80, this place kind of draws influences from Chicago, Midwest, and the East Coast. So it's kind of like a clash between both of those things. Long John Silver. You excited? What's that? Tim Horton. What the crap is Tim Horton? What's a Tim Horton? Didn't I? I've told you about Tim Horton. It's like... I don't listen to you. It's like the Michigan and Canada uh, <coughs> versions of Dunkin' Donuts. No, I don't listen when you talk, women. Then I'll stop listening let when me, you talk. Let me, hey, man, let me tell you about this Puerto Rican restaurant right here. There's a Puerto Rican restaurant right here. On the left. Oh, cool. It's called um El Faro Boricua. Boricua. How many Boricua. times? What do you mean Boricua? By now you should know what a Boricua is. <laughs> what do you mean Boricua? Do you listen to me when I talk to you? No. I listen to you. What the crap was Jim Horton? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. This doesn't look as bad as I thought it would look. No. Like, we're just driving into town now. What on earth is that car? A Chevy Avail, the worst thing ever made. Bully possibly bear. worst. Possibly worse than a Geo Metro is a Chevy Avail. That's a gas station that's empty right there. <laughs> I like save a lot. I save a lot of money by not having to feed you. I lost a lot of money by having to feed you. We're also close to Cleveland, Ohio, where the Bone Thugs and Harmony are from. I tried so hard and got so far. No, that's not the one. No, that's Lincoln Park. And at the end, it doesn't even matter. I'm thinking about a different song, though. I tried so hard as Akon and Bone Thugs and Harmony. And uh, the song I tried so hard is probably one of the, my favorite rap songs because it really captures the challenges and difficulty of being African American in the United States. It just embodies it. Really, do you see that exhaust pipe car? What? Oh, you didn't catch the exhaust pipe car? No. Oh, it's worth going back for. I'm good. There's not enough traffic here to even matter. I'm just gonna drive backwards. You didn't catch the exhaust pipe car? No. Bro, look at it. 
I love how there's like not What am I looking at? The exhaust pipe car. That? That's a car that looks like an exhaust pipe. Tell me that's not cool. I need a it looks like a muffler. The muffler shop. <laughs> Tell me that's not cool. It's cool. <clears throat> Trying so hard and get so far, and at the end it doesn't even matter. I ended up in Youngtown, Ohio, and I asked myself, why am I here? Out of all the places I could be in the world, I tried so hard. I see a dog. Mm -hmm. Oh snap! Thanks, sitting on. I'll tell you when I get closer. The sixes? <laughs> thing raw, man. Look at that thing. That thing is raw. Watch this Yukon came up on the side. Yeah. Make sure it's not like, no, he left home. Yeah. I know so far. If anyone is curious so about far. my Starbucks drink, it is a pumpkin. Nobody gives a crap about your Starbucks drink, okay? <laughs> it is. Nobody gives a crap about your Starbucks drink. So that conversation's over right about now. As quick as it started, it's over. It is a pumpkin. No, it's not. Oh. Pumpkin cold brew. There's people outside and stuff. This doesn't look horrendous. There's a lot of vacancy, but I mean, it's just kind of normal for them. Um, they noticed us. Okay. They noticed me. They're like, oh, look at him. He look good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He got that white girl pimp and that Silverado. Do they have an accent? I don't know. They don't call it that here, do they? Oh. That's an Alabama accent. Mm -hmm. That's an Alabama hood rat accent. I don't know what an Ohio hood rat accent it sounds like. Accident. Accent. You see how they were scoping me out? They're like, ooh, look at him. He got that burning Silverado girl. Mm -hmm. I don't know what an Ohio hood rat accent, accent sounds like. Whatever it was, they were scoping me out. They're like, look at that Silverado. Mm -hmm. He got that white girl pimping. Why he with that white girl anyway? She all big and ooh, ooh, ooh. She could they do probably so thought you were white too. <laughs> There's a lot they, of, you they don't. thought I was Puerto Rican. Yeah. But ooh, that Puerto Rican got him some of a white girl. He pimping. Because <laughs> like, you this, realize the, the you don't here, scream Cuban, right? I look Puerto Rican. No, you look white. <laughs> Just Puerto Ricans here, they know what a Puerto Rican is. Seven percent of this town's Puerto Rican, so they know it doesn't look horrendous. Okay, they look, are they like they throwing the dice on the oh my god. <laughs> They're throwing dice. Okay. Can you look up what their M rate is? It doesn't look like run down like in a horrible way. It looks like people have just left the town, you know, but it doesn't look like, and they, since 1960, this town has lost 100,000 people. I had a bag. From the, in the year 2018, it was close to 36 per Hundred thousand. What year? Two thousand and eighteen. Thirty six per hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. I mean, they don't give a crap. They will sweat you out here, man. They got a big stadium. Mm -hmm. hmm. Last year it was twenty eight. That's still high. Mm -hmm. That's higher than Montgomery, Alabama. Yeah. So, I mean, I mean, a lot of things are going to be on point out here. I mean, you got to be on point out here. Mm -hmm. That's what Fort Myers was in 2012. Really? Y'all want to see how bad this place is.
top right there. I'm sure there's supposed to be a stop sign there, but it's gone. Mm -hmm. It just looks empty. Yeah. <clears throat> I think I've been seeing like Kensington and and what else did we see in Baltimore and stuff. Everything else that we see is gonna be like, just a little, it's it's just right. a little hood. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't just a little hood. Not really much. got a brand new Taco Bell. <clears throat> but there's a college here, so. You know what people don't understand about the Northeast, though? Mm-hmm. Like, New York, for example, looks super scary and intimidating. Mm -hmm. But it's really not. Yeah. And then there's places like, for example. You understand you're in the Midwest, right, Doc? This is the Midwest already? Yeah. No, this ain't the Midwest yet. This is like the mid center. No, this is Midwest. Is this the Midwest already? Yeah. Well, Louisville, Kentucky. When I lived in Louisville, Kentucky, some people consider Louisville, Kentucky the Middle West. Ohio is, is the federal? Midwest. Is this federal? Is this federal? Or is the next one federal? Or federal. Ohio's not Midwest. Yeah. Midwest is like from Chicago to the West. Mm-mm. <laughs> well, we're going to have to have to... Which states are in the Midwest? Look it up. Ask your companion, Siri. It looks like an empty town. That's about it. Ah. Oh, guess it was right. <coughs> huh? Guess it was right. Me? No. no the Midwest, as defined by the federal government. Ah, the federal government. The states of Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Kansas, Michigan. Minnesota, Nebraska, North Dakota, Ohio, Ohio, South Dakota, and Wisconsin. <laughs> okay, so this is part of the Midwest. Yes. Okay. To me, the Midwest is like Minnesota, Iowa, Illinois. What are these guys doing? Nope. <laughs> that's a most. That's a limo. Why they have a limo in the hood, though? This is downtown. It's not the hood. Someone got married. Why people get married? Because they want to. Man, that's the biggest mistake a pimp can make. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> that's from King of the Hill. Uh, when Snoop Dogg was on that one episode. Oh, yeah. That was a good episode. Yeah. Where he was like, man, or, man, that's one of the biggest mistakes a pimp can make. <laughs> when he came, when Hank Hill told him he was married to Peggy Hill, the pimp was like, man, that's the biggest. It was Snoop Dogg, right? Snoop Dogg was like, man, that's or, the biggest mistake a pimp can make. <laughs> huh? Or cat? <clears throat> Probably Snoop Dogg. Wow, it's like New York minus the people. It's like if you took all the people out of New York and just left some buildings. Yeah. Some buildings, not even all of them. Yeah. 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 It doesn't even feel dangerous. But let me tell you, the thing about the Northeast, like Philadelphia, Baltimore, New York, okay. is that they don't understand, and is that like New York City's packed with people. Some places look intimidating, but you're safe. There's places in the South that don't look intimidating, Don't nothing's going on, and you're in danger, and you probably don't even know it. And that's what people don't, in the Northeast, don't get about the South. That, And when we travel, like, we have a perception for when we're in danger. You can just feel it. Like, you just know when, when, when like, you're being watched or, or when you're in danger. <coughs> and sometimes we don't know when our subscribers are a little bit more street smart. Or we find situations where our subscribers live in the neighborhood, saw our video, were outside and they knew what was going on. They told us, hey, when you drove through this street, we were looking at you or whatever, or you know, or we were about to do this or that, you know? Yeah. Or if you had done this, we'd have done that, you know what I mean? So, with all that said, 
what it comes down to is that for the most part, in the big cities like the Northeast, sometimes it looks intimidating, but it's not. Like for me, New York was a total sensory overload. It's just more than I can handle. But <clears throat> at the same time, it's all perception. And it's actually, even though it looks overwhelming, that doesn't mean it's actually dangerous. Like you're going to be in a place that for the most part looks a little intimidating, but really isn't a bad place to be. Yeah. There's places in the South that don't look bad, don't have all that, like Montgomery, Alabama, you will not see graffiti in Montgomery, Alabama. Uh -huh. There's no graffiti in Montgomery, Alabama. But it's probably easier if you go to the wrong place in Montgomery to encounter problems than it is to encounter it anywhere else. So, I'm not saying that those places in the big cities aren't dangerous too, but a lot of times, just because a place doesn't look dangerous doesn't mean it's not. And that's one thing that I've learned, you know, up there in those places is that place can look normal and quiet. But it's like where we lived in Millbrook. You drove by in the daytime, like, oh, look at this place. It's pretty, yeah. And then like, you go outside, like, one day you're coming back from the grocery store, and there's people, like, you know, chasing each other with baseball bats down the street. And you're like, oh, crap. Yeah, it's kind of like that, you know? But it is... An empty town. That's what I can say about Youngstown, Ohio. I mean, this place is vacant. But it doesn't look as run down as I thought. It, in my mind, I envision more run down. Like, there might be neighborhoods off to the sides that are more run down, maybe. <clears throat> but this is just vacant. I mean, coming back from New York City to see this is like a ghost town. I'm not even sure why their street lights are functioning at this point. They could probably just shut them off and have them blinking at this point. They could just have these things blinking. <coughs> but what's interesting too is like somebody like see that empty lot? Somebody owns that empty lot. You see these warehouses? Somebody owns these warehouses. Like, I wonder if you're from here, if you're able to just start buying stuff up and, and maybe, like, I don't know, is there any potential at all in a place like this? I mean, look at this. It's a total ghost town. I'm sure they have red light cameras, too, though. They don't? Probably don't. I love that turbo. What's the outside temperature? It's very pleasant. Probably in the 70s. Okay, so this side of town over here might be a little bit rougher. <clears throat> Complete ghost town. Look at this. It is a complete ghost town. You smell that like, nasty, like, smell? Mm -hmm. Wow. It is smells foul, does it? Mm -hmm. So from here on, it might be a little bit rougher. We'll find out. Da, 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 da. Even a lot of the cars don't really look like they're newer cars. They look like really... Well, go figure. There's no other city with over 65,000 people in the United States that has a higher poverty rate than this place. I mean, this place has a very high poverty rate. It's the poorest of any city its size in the United States. Surpassing places like Albany, Georgia. Does that mean, oh, it's a truck identical to ours. Mm -hmm. Hopefully they don't need any spare parts. It's like literally our truck. So this area around here, this area is here that are up to seven, the whole city seven percent Puerto Rican, and there's one area that's predominantly. I don't want this little car behind us. 
He knows he's behind us. He's no way up. He knows we got Florida boys. We gotta lose him. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying he is a danger, but I don't like the fact that he knows we got Florida boys. He got he's been following us since we left. I don't think he's up to them bad, but I don't want to take any chances. I have no idea what it's like out here. Okay, that's not belief. Yeah, I look too much, so we're going this way. <clears throat> He went the other way. Okay. I don't think he was on them, but it's just, I'd rather be safe than sorry. Yeah. Why are we vacant, bro? Yeah. stoplights in this town. Does that even make sense? Why are there even stop signs here? Let's try this little neighborhood out. It's so vacant. I'm very intimidated today. <laughs> the little rider, that's pretty cool. Okay, so we're hitting up like really, really back streets and stuff here. The houses don't look, not all of them look that right now. I'm just saying, it doesn't look all that, all that, you know what I mean? GPS Detroit, let's get out of here. <clears throat> I guess the predominant thing I can say about this neighborhood is just how vacant it looks. It really Head is. Head west on East High Avenue toward Perry Street. In a quarter mile, turn left onto Albert Street. Albert Street, cool. Yeah, that's that's what the Hispanic area. A uh, quarter mile from the Albert Street. So Albert Street is um, the Puerto Rican area. This is the Hispanic side of town. You can tell because of the, just, I guess the cars, you can just tell. You can tell the nice for newer cars and stuff. I'm talking about Hispanic people. We like new cars, especially Puerto Ricans, which is the largest in, in the Hispanic group here. Puerto Ricans love new cars. See the, the pimped out little. Uh, you can just tell when they're from Puerto Rican people. I love it. Then when we went to Kissimmee in Orlando, mm -hmm. And there was like the Puerto Rican neighborhood, and it was like the cars were every turn single car Albert was Street, like. Then turn right onto Oak Street. <coughs> every single car was a new car. Like there was basically no old cars around. <laughs> I'm sure there's areas of town that might be more run down, but we're just giving you guys a general idea of what the city looks like in general. Going to the absolute worst neighborhood doesn't always soften anything as far as giving you a realistic perspective on the city. I mean, I guess this is really a. Turn right onto Oak Street, then turn right onto the US 422 West Ramp. It's just vacant. Vacant, vacant, vacant. Oh, I love that little space. Turn right onto the US 422 West Ramp, then continue onto US 422 West. Oh, yeah, that's true. No. No. What do you think? Just empty. Empty. More, more empty than run down. This is a cool little drive. <coughs> you kind of see the city off to this side. I, don't know. I wouldn't call it a skyline. Continue but for two miles. Not quite a skyline. It's kind of like a, a silhouette of a skyline. I don't know what a skyline could be. Hey, a 
appreciate that, man. I'll pick it up when I get a chance. If you go to Lehigh, let me know. Because my brother-in-law might pick it up. Youngstown, Ohio. Souvenirs, <laughs> Mike. I, have, I haven't even been able to get souvenirs for myself. If I see a, a souvenir, I'll get it for him. Mm -hmm. I ain't been able to get a souvenir for me, man. In Detroit, we'll get some stuff. Get some Detroit souvenirs. Well, we're gonna have to because you forgot to bring us sweaters. Purposely. You purpose? I knew you. I knew you. Wicked, <laughs> wicked one. I knew you did it on purpose. You didn't pack sweaters on purpose because you wanted to buy Michigan stuff. Guess what? I want to take you to the Bells, and you're going to have to end up getting, like, a Clarence, Ohio jacket. Matter of fact, I'm sure there's an empty store here in town. That looks ghetto up there, look. Yeah, this town needs... You are wicked. You purposely... You purposely... Purposely, purposely, purposely... You're wicked. <coughs> you purposely... Purposely, purposely, did not bring our sweaters to buy to make me have to buy us stuff in Detroit. What if instead of heading to Detroit now we head back to Florida and get a sweater? Oh no, baby, don't cry. You shouldn't trick me into spending money like that. You didn't forget to bring sweaters. Say the truth. I did forget. No, you did not. I you didn't. did not forget it. You purposely didn't get sweaters because you wanted to get Detroit stuff. Yeah. And the only thing saving you is that I wanted Detroit Pistons sweater. Not touch lines. That is off limits. I want the plain one that just says Michigan. No sports team. <coughs> or the M. Like the one you used to have. Huh? How about we go to Wisconsin? And we get a Wisconsin one and you wear it upside down. No. Or inside out. Either way you can see this is not. Oh no, baby. You know, I know what you did, but you, you tricked me into buying your sweater. I don't believe that you forgot to pack sweaters. I brought my sweater. Yeah, because uh, you you were forcing me to buy. We have like fifty sweaters. In the only thing. ones I could find are the Alabama ones, and you told me you wanted to burn them, so oh, I didn't no, bring no, them. No, no, no! Don't put the blame on me. You purposely didn't pack our sweaters because you wanted Michigan stuff. So just admit it. 